we're gonna go up here and we're gonna drop the bears down but what if that is the death area oh my god it doesn't matter look at all that okay this is the end area all right let's go arcs Valley evolved tbf gaming jumping back into our fjordor adventure Excited to get rolling today. Today we're going to get back into going after the artifacts, prepping for the boss fight, and trying to get at least a Therizino added to the team because I still have yet to find a good level Therizino. We should have got the ones at the end of the Fjord or Hawk, or the Fjord, Fjord Hawk, the Fjord Hawk adventure. That would have been a good idea. But we did add some really good dinos to the pack when we did that. Let's talk about our future boss fight teams. The Rex, the Megatherium, and the Bear. Those are going to be our three different boss fight teams. The Bears are good to go. The Bears, the Bears. They are level 276, 43 melee, 43 health. These guys are going to kill it. They're all going to be 20,000 health and at least 1,500 damage if we can get them close to maxed out. The Rexes will be ready to go soon. We just got started on the new alpha pairs here. We got a 268 and 272, 40 health on both of them and 45 melee on both of them. So we'll get those guys bred a few times, at least get several iterations of a 45 and 40 or 40 and 45 stat line on those guys so rexes will be our other boss fight team and then the last one for the broodmother fight we've got our mega theriums we finally got a halfway decent collection of the health and the melee from all the ones that we had 37 was the highest melee and 35 was the highest health so that's the two that we got left out and they got super cool green mittens look at them mittens awesome our first ever like big time mega therium back on valgira was named mittens we might have another iteration of that so those guys are our main three boss fight teams. In, in terms of just things that we're having fun breeding and that I might take into a boss fight just for fun, the cows. I'm thinking about doing a boss fight with just cows. Eco's cows could probably wreck a boss. They do pretty good damage. They're fast. They can have a lot of health. These are not pumped up at all, and they have 5.5 thousand. So if we pumped them, they'd be in the double digit 10 to 20 thousand range. The Demorphodons are doing crazy good as well. Those guys will start popping out over the 250 range, which will be amazing. And then the Raptors... 331, we're just kind of breeding those guys for fun, but we do have a 46 melee, 49 health on that one. And then the Parasaurs are just for electronics. The Rock Drakes, I didn't know I could breed these guys, so I've been breeding them kind of extra just to see what we can get out of it. Maybe we'll get a cool color mutation. We had some cool colors, but I did delete pretty much every dino that we're not using for a breeding pair. We'll kind of keep an eye on all this stuff so we can continue to uh, up our game on all these ones. There you go, more Demorphodons coming out. I want to see what level the Demorphodons are popping out now. Let's see. The Morph. Demorphodons now, 242, 42, and 250. All of you got the worst melee stat. Nobody got the good melee stat. Oh, uh, okay. We'll keep working on that. We'll let them go for a while, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do there. Thyla, same thing. I'm just breeding these guys for color. I'm not really worried about their stats, although we do have 35 melee and 28 health. That's not great health. The rest of you guys have 30 health, so hopefully we don't get that health stat. I think that's all that stuff there. I did get a saddle made up for our Rock Drake, so we can finally take you out. On a quick flight, we also have over here, let's go over here, come on, if I can get in there. Over here, we've got a saddle on my Thyla as well, so let's go ahead and grab that guy. So here you go, a little bit of Thyla action. Yeah, there we go. I love Thylas, such fun dinos. This guy's pretty fast, should be a lot of fun to run around on. So there you go, there's our main two rides today. We'll go Thyla and Rock Drake. Of course, just in case, we'll grab Craven. Gotta have Craven the Hunter with us. Just in case we find something to tame up, that'll be awesome. Uh, that didn't work. There we go. And then we'll grab Fuzzy and Wuzzy as our main fighters. I think that's good to go. Oh, and we got to kill these guys off. Let's do a quick killing of these guys for a little bit of electronic action. I wish I had a Therry, but I don't have a Therry yet. So we're just going to have to kill them and then just go ahead and gather them up. So let's go like that. Whistle, whistle, follow, wander, turret, kill. All right. All right, if you guys are adverse to seeing dinos die, please look away. Also, if you guys enjoy the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below. Thank you for all the support on the recent videos. 13,000 subs absolutely blows my mind. Seriously, thank you for that. Huge shout out to the patrons for making these servers possible. Should have a Supreme server opening tonight if I don't mess it up. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get that right. All right, we need to kill you guys off. I'm so sorry, but we, get, we need electronics. I need electronics for some of the final things we got to get built up. There we go. Get all these guys taken out. I'm so sorry, guys. I know I set you over here in the in the area where all of my favorite guys hang out, but you weren't one of my favorite. I don't know who gathers best. Who's like a good gatherer? I don't know. Let's try my Thyla. I don't really know who the best one for gathering is. Maybe the bear. But I think the Thyla is probably the best bet. We need a name for our Thyla anyways. Uh, let's go. There you go. 
And we're going to have so many of these. I'm not too, too worried about it. Oh, they dropped eggs, too. That makes it sad. There you go. All right, cool. That gives us a nice little collection of that. Let's drop that off. And then we'll get some more stuff made up in the, the base place later on. Look at that. 1,300, 1,200, 1,300, and 1,259. Nice. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and pump your health a little bit. Get you over 10. A little bit of melee. And a little bit of speed just for fun. All right. Hopefully you will heal up while you're in our inventory. And let's jump on the Rock Drake. I don't think I'm level leveled up high enough in order to ride the Giga or the Magnosaur yet. But I will check that out real quick. Let me see. We've got... Uh, what are we? Level 94. Okay. Giga is 96. And... Magmasaur is 95. So we're one level from Magmasaur. Nice. We're almost there. We're almost finally there. So let's go around the Rock Drake. I don't ever fly these guys around. They're so much fun to hang out on. And I kind of forget about them all the time. So we play with them sometimes in modded. But I don't get a chance to really mess with them. Uh, how could you not love that? Let's get up on this high peak and do a little bit of gliding action with this guy. So I think we're going to go up to the surface and see if we can find a Therizino. And then there's two caves that I want to hit up. And I think since the bear team is ready, I'm ready to take on either the gorilla or the dragon with that one, I think. All right, let's go check out Auto's base. Auto, Auto's base is like right over there. There you go. There you go. Oh, there we go. Just flying hardcore. Awesome. Yeah, Auto chose a great... This is one of the best build locations on the map. I don't think he really built much. He just went like with the pre-made structures. And he's been breeding up some cool dinos over here. I think he's got some wolves that are absolutely crazy level. Of course, there's Matchstick that helps us with all of our gathering. There's his wolf crew that's supposed to be wandering around but gets lost sometimes. There you go. What are you guys doing? There you go. Yeah, his wolf crew is supposed to be like wandering around eating everything on the map. <laughs> they get a little lost sometimes. They're supposed to be wandering around to kind of keep the inner of the guard. The, I mean, the inner area all guarded up. So that's what he's supposed to be doing. See all the wolves are following him. Very cool idea. There you go. There's the rest of them. There should also be a Kentro around here somewhere doing the same thing. Where's the Kentro? Uh oh, did the Kentro die? There's no way. The Kentro's a pretty decent level. There's no way the Kentro died. He's got aloes in there breeding up. I'm going to check those out real quick too. Okay, I'm not sure where the Kentro went. Maybe he's just stuck somewhere. Or maybe he got picked up. I don't know. Okay, no big deal. Let's go inside and check it out. So inside, he's got a few things breeding up inside here. We've got a 246 wolf, 248. These guys all have 41 health and 32 melee. It's not bad at all. Look at that red. That is cool looking. All right, the aloes. Oh, he's got his little buddies over here. The aloes are looking pretty good. 222, 227, and 227. Not great stats on those guys. So if I see a regular aloe, we should definitely grab one to get added to his little team of aloes. Yeah, I don't know what happened to his, his Kentro. I hope his Kentro didn't die. We'll have to go around and look for it. All right, cool. Let's go to the surface. I think we're going to start over in Fjord Hot Country again and see if those theories are still there. It's been about 12 hours since we recorded that episode, so there might still be there. Hawk Valley, perfect. They were both 135s. It was a male and female. It'll at least give us a start in terms of breeding these guys. So that would be great. And I love having these guys for boss fights. If we don't get them for boss fights, it's okay. Oh, no. Oh, Gamorian guard. Hold on, buddy. No, no, no. Guard. 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 No, stop. Stop. Guard. Where are you going? No, buddy. Oh, Otto, I'm so sorry. We got issues. Hold on. Stay right there, Rock Drake. Okay. Are you good now? You were, were spazzing out on us, man. No, stay, stay. No. Good morning, guard. Bad. Okay, we at least know his guy is good now. Hold on. Auto's compound. No, stay, stay. Stay in there. There you go. <gasps> Crap, he's on follow still. Okay, we'll, we'll worry about that later. One problem at a time. Let's go looking for theories again. Uh, I don't know if I can get back up there. Come on, make the jump. Make it. Let's go third person a little bit. I don't play in third person very much. I heard the arc two might be third person. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, look, he's there. He's there. That's one of them. 135, 8.4. Can I shoot off a rock drake? I can. They're a little glitchy, but the fairy is pretty tall. Will the fairy shoot 
hit me off the mount. Let's go find out. Okay, let's go. Okay, here's the test. Is the theory gonna shoot me off the mount? Please don't kill me off the mount. Please don't kill me off the mount. There you go, we hit him, we hit him. Okay, this guy hits pretty hard. All right, everything's fine. 4.8, oh, I missed completely. Okay, good, he's not knocking me off. This is good. 6.1, oh, he's gonna start running in a second. Hold on. Oh, that should have been a hit, don't lie. Come on, game, hook me up. Oh my god, really? Okay, finish reloading, jump off. Oh, really? Really? Okay. Stay with me, Rock Drake. There you go. 7.6. Oh, wow. So we got a tip recently that it reloads faster in third person than first person. This is the most accurate thing ever said. Oh, no, no. Bugs. Leave me alone. Bad bugs. Okay, is something hitting the thing? Okay, are we good now? We're good. All right, this guy just needs three kibble. All right, one, two, three. Let's put a fourth one on just in case because it is going down just a little. It's not gonna expire soon, but just in case. But yeah, I don't know about third person. Do you guys play in first or third person? I tend to only play in first person. That's just how we were introduced into the game and it feels different. It feels wrong playing it any other way, but I could, I have, I know a lot of people that play exclusively in third person. Mainly a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> no, our, our friend Teru, who has been on the channel a bunch of times, she is exclusively third person. We tried to mock her until she stopped, but she's she's committed to it, so that's just the way it is. But yeah, I don't know. I I, I don't know if they go with third person in the next arc. That's going to be a little weird, but I'm good with it. I'm so excited about the next arc. I don't really care what they do. I mean, I do care. I mean, I care, but. I'm so, what I'm saying is I'm so excited for it that I don't have too many crazy preferences other than I'm just excited for it. All right, if you were the other theory, which direction would you be? Because I don't remember. I remember seeing them. A couple beaver dams. I need to add that guy to the tracker real quick. That's another good idea. Let's do that. Let's go taming tracker. We're not going back for you, 150 Fjordhawk. No one likes you. As long as we keep him on the tracker. Oh, God, I just remembered. Don't they have crazy fast torpor drop? They do. Maybe we should keep an eye on him. All right, we're okay. We're going to just go right now. We'll, we'll come back to that. All right. Any other theories in the area? Maybe we should fly around a little bit. I don't see another one. But I know there should be one. And there's nothing here that's going to eat a fairy. Keep going this way. Man, I don't know. We are kind of hurting temperature-wise. Let's switch back to the fur. There we go. Temperature problem's gone. I'm going to switch probably real quick to the bat just to see if we find anything. I know it was in this general direction. All right, let's pick you up. Thanks for your help. And Craven, where you at? Craven time. All right, if you were a Theory, where would you be? How's he doing over there? Still not even fed once. Come on though, we really need a Theory. And you know what? There is actually a cave right above us. It's a rough cave. We'll definitely need our bears for it. We'll take Fuzzy or Wuzzy in there. It is a brutal cave, but it is a lot of fun. All right, we'll skim this area one more. I know it's up here, so I'm trying to not stop recording because I know it's going to be one of those things where I literally say, I'll be right back, and then 13 seconds later, I find it. So we're trying to hold on. Trying to hold on, Hope. This is a rough area to find things, though. And that only gives us one theory. I really need more than just one theory. We need, need, need a breeding pair. Oh, look at that guy. That is a great color Fjordhawk. 
I can check the shiny dino list and see if there's a theory on there. Maybe. Just do one more little skirt around. I'll go a little bit lower in the valley and see if maybe it's down there. And, okay, he's at 45. Do I need to go get more narcotic? I think he's going to be okay. And he's not that hard to knock out. So if I just let it ride, I think we could be okay. All right, we're going to skim right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and go up to the cave. I think I can find it pretty easy. Yeah, there's nothing. Interesting. Okay, no luck. Somewhere, somewhere, there's a fairy just hanging out. I thought it was really close to this one, but I don't see it. Let's creep back through here. Maybe they got eaten today. Oh, look at that mossy. That moss chomps is beautiful. Okay, rolling up. Nothing really here. All right. I think it's cave time. We had no luck on the theory. All right. Let's go to the cave, guys. I give up. I feel like it's here somewhere, but I'm just not seeing it. Like I hear footsteps, and it's a parasaur. All right. So the cave should be super easy to find. We'll fly like this and see if I can see it on the way out. No, definitely not. Okay. So the cave... Like I said, should be easy to find. It's one of these little cliff sides right here. I think right there, maybe? This might be it. Let's go ahead and get a level under speed. The bat's pretty awesome. Uh, from what they're telling me, this guy can fly in caves even that aren't allowed on normal servers. Like, we allow flying in all of our caves. But this guy apparently can fly in any cave. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right. We're going to pick you up. And... Let's go fuzzy and wuzzy and our thyla. Okay, just in case we can't get through. Here we go. There's fuzzy. There's wuzzy. And here's our thyla. Oh, man. You, you look really cool with that blue. Do I have any more water, please? Yes. All right. Let's go, guys. Okay. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and attack these guys. Go get them done. Yeah, those guys are going to get it done. Plus, we got to be really careful about the, what do you call it, the Prolobias. Those guys are everywhere in here. You see them coming out every five seconds? All right. Well, you guys are doing that. I'm going to go get this real quick. There you go. No, stay right there, guys. Don't fall off or anything. Okay, Theri's at 90%. Please don't wake up. Okay, come on. Okay, let's circle back around. I might have to fly up there. Yep, that's not working. Maybe I can do a couple hops like this. Here we go. And hop. Oh, I missed it. One more try. One more try and then I'm just going to fly up there. I'm trying to do this the right way. All right, let's go. Okay, there's one. There's two. Three. Nailed it. 53, and there's another one down there. I will go get that one in just a second. At least I'll try to remember. Okay. That looks like a Prolobia spot right there. Okay, eat him, please. And I'm going to send you right there. Go wake up that Prolovia. Yeah, see? Not happening. I'm not getting tricked by any Prolovias in here. Uh, how's my health doing? Are we going down? No, you're going down. Am I going down? I'm going down a little. Oh, these Yetis are brutal. Okay, let's go all the way down there. Alright, keep an eye on their health. It is a little rough down here. 20,000, 20,000. There's another Prolovia down there. Be careful. There you go. Send you way over there. <laughs> there you go. See, they're trying to get us. Not happening. Hold on. Gamma 3. Brighten up a little bit for you guys. Oh, there's a bunch of them down there. Wow. 
Oh, Fuzzy and Wuzzy, be careful. It is rough in there. All right, let's just help carefully. Get them, bears. Oh, we're down to 17,000 on that one. Wow, these uh, bears are a little tough. Okay. Go ahead and go ahead, guys. Go into the Pelovia in the way. That has a really cool looking Pelovia, too. Alright, we're halfway. This is a brutal cave. Definitely one of the toughest caves we've been in. Alright, you're at 15 and 14. Just keep an eye on their health. Come on, eat this guy. There you go, 1,200 damage on that guy. Good job. All right, we'll fight this guy, and I'm going to check your guys' levels. You guys might have levels, not even pump them yet. How much health do those guys have? Jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No, no. Oh, that was close. My bad. We got a little in there. Everything's fine. All right, was he... I'm going to give you just two health and all melee. All right. Our other buddy, nothing. All right. Don't jump off your dino again. That was awful. Okay. We're going to send you all the way down there. Let's go. Lead the ways. Eat their face. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Alright, that pathway up there still isn't the way we went. Oh, what is that? Oh, arachnids. That's a weird spot. Come on. Okay, you guys go in there. Eat the guy. Look at the levels on these guys. Absolutely insane. There you go. Get in there. Oh, there's another red thing. I'll go after that in just a second. Okay, let's leave you there real quick. I'll be right back. Let's get this. Oh, this is the one I saw. Okay. I think. I think this is the one that I looked down on. I don't know for sure. Okay, come on, guys. Let's keep going. So that's the first area. That was a little bit rough. The first time I played this map when it was modded, this area was really hard to get through. There we go. A little bit of melee, a little bit of speed. Can you guys get through? What's up these really weird gates in here? I don't know. You guys having trouble? Okay, come on. It's not that hard. Okay, I don't know. Why can't I? Let me get close to you. Alright. I don't need anything off there. Let's go ahead and drop you again. There you go. Okay. Okay. No one gets stuck. Let's go. Alright. Is this like a murder death fall or is this place okay? Oh, man. I don't know. I didn't know this was like a place like this. Is there no water? Oh, no. Is this a murder death area? It might be. I don't know. All right. You got anything on you? No. Is there nothing down below? Is it just fall to your death and it's over? It very it very well might be. I don't know. Let's not mess it up then. Okay. We have a packy saddle and a lance. There you go. That's the dream right there. Super amazing. Okay, don't fall. Oh my god. There you go. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna drop the bears down. But what if that is the death area? Oh my god, it doesn't matter. Look at all that. Okay, this is the end area. Alright. Maybe I'm thinking, I think I'm, in my head I think I was thinking about the cave. I was thinking about the cave from the island, the OG ice cave. There you go. Oh, don't fall off, guys. Don't fall off. OK, 
Okay, let's help. Let's help. Don't fall. Polar bear. Wow, these polar bears have so many levels on them. Look at that. 245. 8,000 health. Don't fall off, guys. Okay, let's go take out the yetis. 10,000 health on that yeti. My guys are getting a little low. Careful, guys. Careful, careful. I want to help, but I'm, I'm a little scared. Everyone okay health-wise? Please don't die. Come on, finish that guy. You got it? Everybody good? Oh, my God. They wait, they came down so much health-wise. All right. We got an artifact, though. Check it out. Artifact of the Sky Lord. Thank you. Thank you. If I had an otter, we'd have two. Well done, guys. Well done, indeed. There you go. Fuzzy. Good to go. Uh, you got a bunch of junk. And was he? Good to go. Absolutely awesome. There was one more drop back there. Do we want to risk it? Because I, I, I do think this is... Oh, there's another one. That one's back. Nice. All right. We got a shotgun and a ghillie mask. Okay. And then there was a red one up there. Don't, don't miss it. Don't miss it. And don't miss. Got it. All right, for this one, we got Scuba Mask and the Perisher Saddle. Cool. Oh, this is a good cave, man. This is a really good cave. Dangerous. Scary. But a nice cave. All right, let me make sure there's a red thing right here that's making me think there's another... Like, another thing here somewhere. See, like, up on top? Like a drop or something? Anything? Oh, it's a gorilla head. Okay, I guess that is it. Oh, that's a good cave. All right, hey, Theory's also tamed up. Let's go ahead and jet our way down. We're just going to backtrack. Run through all this. No fighting. No Perlovius, please. I just thought about the fact that there's going to be Perlovius. Please don't be a Perlovia. Oh, that green bear is beautiful. 275. Wow. Wow. Also, the bears say non-tameable, but the wolves said tameable. We're going to have to look at that. Oh, it's nighttime. Good. Not a fan of nighttime in this game. <laughs> I hate arc nighttime. All right. There is our theory, buddy. There was no theory on this side, which is unfortunate. Let's run through one more time. All right, cool. Let's pick up our theory, friend. I'll do a quick just kind of run in circles and see if we get lucky. So 203, let me see what your stats are once we get close. Hopefully it's decent stats. All right, this guy has, oh God, it's not. A 30 health and a 20 melee. Oh my God, you can't get much worse. Hopefully your colors look really cool in the daylight. All right, uh, let me run around and circle a couple times. We'll see if we'll see the other one and then maybe we'll go scout somewhere else. Okay, we got a shiny one. It's a 160 shiny. Is ours male or female? This is a female. That one is a... That one's a male. Okay, we're good. It is nighttime. I'm really sorry about that, guys. I'm going to try... I can't really gamma up much more without making it just insane. But we got to go after it. I know it's middle of the night. I'm sorry. In the middle of the night. There you go. This guy's got almost 10,000 Torpor. Okay. Please don't hit me off my mount. Oh, also don't kill my, ther uh, my Thylet, please. We should be okay. I got plenty of Tranks. There we go. There you go. You keep hitting me up. This, we're taking a little bit of damage. We need to be a little careful. Okay, can we get this guy tricked up a little bit? Okay, uh, we're taking a little too much damage. Please run. There you go. There you go. There you go. Good. Okay, reload. Okay, one more. Stay stuck. Reload. Hold on. There you go. Reload it. I don't know what was stuck there. Come on. Go, 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 go. Yes. There it is. All right. Three kibble on this guy. So there it is. There's another theory. So there's a male-female combo. All right. You want three of those? Perfect. All right. Everybody's good to go. Nice. I'm going to add you to the tracker now. There is some alphas down here. Uh, boom. How much health does the alpha have? Man, a fuzzy was you're not really healthy yet. 
And I don't really have any other guys with me right now, but I really need those. I need those rune stones so bad. I think let's wait right now. I'm going to wait on this guy and then we'll go back to base with what we have because this is actually pretty good. We got an artifact done. We got two theories done. This will make for a decent episode if we can go ahead and finish it out. So make sure we got that on the tracker. I'm going to go ahead and teleport back to base, work on some breeding things. I'll bring you back when we get both the theories awake and breeding back at the base. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm looking through the artifacts that we need to fight the gorillas. For that one, we need the brute, the devourer, and the pack. I don't have very many artifacts here. I know we've gone after a couple of them. I might have left them at the other base. But up here, all we have in terms of artifacts is the Skylord, the Strong, and what is it? We've got Hunter, Skylord, and Strong. I know we've got at least one other one somewhere, but that means we still, well, we still need all three of them. We need the Brute, the Devourer, and the Pack in order to fight the big gorilla, the boss gorilla. So that we're going to have to work on. And then over here, inside here, we also need the Stein, Steinborn, something like that, relic, which I think is the final world boss. Because we've got the Skull, the Haiti. We need the next one. We're missing one also. I'm not sure. We're missing a lot of things. We're missing a lot of things. Let me see if we got the other two relics. The one for Bela up here, I think, is the other one that we need. Hold on. Relic. There you go. We got the Bela relic as well. Okay. So we got work to do. That's a lot of work to do. I also want to start getting to work on the bear saddle. So we need a upgrade station. All right. Upgrade station times one. Boom. I don't use this a lot. I'm not a big, big fan of the upgrade station. I don't put it on very many servers, but... It is pretty useful. It, I mean, it's a great, great mod. Don't get me wrong. I just think that it's, I don't know, it's a little cheaty. I think it, it hooks you up too much, and it kind of negates the you know need to go after a bunch of drops. But I, I do like it, especially if you're not someone that has like a lot of time to play. It's definitely not a bad thing. All right, we need paste, fiber, and hide. Let's see if we got it. So we don't need any metal for this, which is nice. So hide, fiber. I know we can have tons and tons of that really quickly. We can go gather it really quick, quickly too, but paste might be the harder part. Uh, I've got zero and 449, okay? It's not a lot. 72. So we're going to need more paste, but that's not bad though. 72 armor is already pretty good. If I go into in there with bears with 74 armor, we'll be good. So what I'll do is I'll get us a good one. We'll make a blueprint off of it. I think we can make a blueprint. Then we'll take the bears into the gorilla fight, but we need to work now on the rest of the gorilla stuff. Oh, my other guy is tamed up. Nice. Let me go get that guy real quick. We'll get these guys breeding, and then we'll end the episode there. All right, quick, quick check-in with the theories. Let's check these guys out real quick. So we got a male, female. I don't know what the stats look like on the second one. So here is the female, and here is the male. Is this the shiny one? And it's a russet therizino. Got some kind of cool colors on it. Both of them got really good colors, actually. They actually both look really good. All right, the bigger one has 34 health and 29 melee. So not not great on either, but we can work with it. We can definitely work with it. Plus, it finally gives us the theory to help us gather. That's awesome. Big fan of the theories. All right, cool. You guys are breeding, right? Okay, they're breeding. Our best of everything is breeding right now, too. Hopefully, we got a couple of Megatheriums I can throw out, and then we will probably end it there. 240. So he can go into the boss fight then, but he's not going to be anything that we break out for mating, I don't think. 240, you got a minus three there. And luckily we have no mutations on those guys yet, so we're still working on that. The Rexes, how's the Rex doing? The Rex also got the good stats. Not bad there. And then what's the other one we're doing? Raptors, cows, and fjord hawks. Raptors, we are up to, we got a 333 with a two plus two melee stat, yes. There you go, and that's gonna be it for the mutations on those guys. So I got a plus two on the female, that's great. That brings it to 48. 48 and 49 for health and melee. Very, very nice. All right, let me pop the last round of eggs, and then we'll end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Two Therizinos to add to the squad, and we got the new artifact, which is a really cool cave. I'm going to go in the next episode. We're going to go after the other artifacts that I need for the gorilla, and then the following episode after that, we'll probably do the actual gorilla fight with the bear squad because the bear is ready to go, but I got to do a little bit of grinding for the saddles, and then we have a full bear squad that's going to be able to take that out. I think we also have to take on another world boss. Maybe that's three episodes away. I don't know. I don't do counting, especially not in public. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Huge shout out to the patrons. Huge shout out to you for checking this video. I've made it to the end of the video with my MVP. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.